Hey guys, so this is my review for Supernatural Season 11, 20, episode 23 season finale. I'm doing this in my car because I want to put this up as soon as possible, and if I do it the way I'm doing it, it won't be up till Friday. So, it's very bare bones. No graphics, no nothing. So, the first half of it was very interesting, mainly because the idea of God was dying, no one had any idea what to do, and then they come up with this spirit bomb sort of idea, which is... Some spirit, spirit bomb. Anyway, so it turns out that that can maybe kill the darkness, but God doesn't even want to kill the darkness, even though that he's dying, and the earth is slowly starting to, the sun's starting to die. And all the while, there's this British lady who's uh, slowly making her way towards the Winchesters. We know that there's something to do with them, which is funny because a lot of their photos and a lot of the stuff is from, like, the first four seasons I found, which was interesting. Anyway, so after that, they find the darkness, and the darkness is getting a little bit of an emotional moment. She's realizing that she's killing the world and all these other things, which is... I just found it odd how she was fine with totally destroying everything before, but then this time she's like, yeah, you know what, maybe... And I think it's the idea that she's killing her brother. And the season finale basically ripped off the season finale of Digimon Season 2. Remember how they had the, the vampire Mon, whatever, and they defeated him by the kids all not thinking posit uh, negatively anymore, and they made them all have positive thoughts, and now they defeated him? That was basically the idea of this season finale. They made up, which, admittedly, was a bit of a different change, because we're always used to killing the thing, but the idea that they actually killed it with kindness, in a way, was different, and I actually... As much as it's out of verbatim for what Supernatural usually does, I actually thought that was actually kind of an okay idea. But now we've lost the best villain that Supernatural has ever had since Season 5, and we're back to this Men of Letters shit, which is... Oh, gosh. It's like, when she shot him, it's like, okay, obviously Sam's not dead. He just got a shot in the shoulder. And the idea that their mom is back... As interesting as that could be, that really has nothing to do with story anymore. Absolutely none. In terms of emotional content, sure. But this show is about hunting monsters. And so what is mom going to do? Sure, mom's a hunter, a previous hunter, but... I don't know, it just makes me think of when grandpa was around and how useless the grandpa character was. So, I liked the first half, and I liked everything up until, but admittedly the ending was just so... Like, again, a, an obstacle that's thrown in the last five minutes once again. You do that to me once, Supernatural. Okay, you do it a second time, and you... I don't know, I just didn't enjoy the, the final result as much. So I'm going to give this season finale a 3 out of 7. Admit, as I said, I liked how it did something different. But that whole ending, the idea that they did the exact same thing twice, and now it's more so it's my future thought of what's going to happen with the show. Because now we're going to get a season 12 that's not going to be that great, in my opinion. Anyways, guys, that's all from me. I will do a full season review uh, soon. But anyways, that's all from me for now. I'll see you guys next time.